Hello everyone, I'm Ubersweet and today we're taking a look at Create Confectionery. A mod that adds a bunch of candy, but also a nice set of new blocks that will let you build a winter village just like this one. It adds blocks like ruby chocolate, dark chocolate, white chocolate, caramel, gingerbread bricks, and candy cane blocks. You can also make gingerbread men which will run around like this. And in this video, I will not only show you how to make a gingerbread man, but I will also tell you where you can download this map for free. But first, we're going to head over to our factory where I'll show you how you can make the different types of chocolate. First, we'll be making hot chocolate. For that, we will need some cocoa powder. To make that, we take cocoa beans and put them under a mechanical press like this, and that will give us crushed cocoa. We can then use crushing wheels to get cocoa powder and cocoa butter, which we'll then use to make different types of chocolate. Now that we have cocoa powder, we can take that and mix with some sugar and some milk, put it all in a basin with a blaze burner underneath and a mechanical mixer above and we'll make hot chocolate. We can grab some glass bottles and place them under the spout here with hot chocolate in and you can see that it will start filling the bottles making cups of hot chocolate which we can carry around and drink. A lot of the candy and drinks you can make with this mod do give some short buffs which is pretty cool. Next we're going to make white chocolate. To make this we need to mix cocoa butter, sugar and milk in a basin with a blaze burner underneath. We can then get a empty bucket and place it under a spout which is filled with the white chocolate that we made. This will then give us a bucket of white chocolate. Dark chocolate is made in a similar way. Here we need to mix sugar cocoa butter, cocoa beans, and milk. Once again, we can use a bucket under a spout to get our dark chocolate. This is actually called black chocolate, but I think it's supposed to be dark chocolate. Next, we'll look at ruby chocolate. This is the most expensive chocolate to make as it requires a bottle of dragon's breath for each bucket of chocolate. Then we need to mix that with cocoa beans and sugar along with some milk to get our ruby chocolate. And same as before, we can use a spout to fill a bucket with ruby chocolate. Last but not least, we have caramel. This is by far the easiest to make as we simply need to mix sugar with water. And put down a bucket under a spout and we get a bucket of caramel. There is some candy that we can make in here, but first I want to show you how you can use these buckets of caramel and chocolate for decoration. When you place down one of these buckets, it does have a pretty nice looking flow animation, although the color of caramel may not be the best choice. So here is ruby chocolate, which looks a bit more appealing. And here is also a dark chocolate waterfall. Now the thing with chocolate is that it looks a bit dull on its own, so what I like to do is put a few glowstones under the chocolate. This will make it seem like the chocolate is glowing a bit, which gives a nice feel. Now let's head over to our ginger dough making house. Here is where we're making ginger dough, which can be used to make gingerbread men and more. For this, we need to mix sugar, cinder flour, and wheat flour in a basin along with honey, which we're pumping in from the bottom. We do not need to heat the basin. And when we mix all that with a mechanical mixer, we get some ginger dough. Ginger dough can be used to make a gingerbread block. To make it, we simply need to put four ginger dough together and we get our block like so. Ginger dough can be used to make gingerbread. To make that, we simply need to cook our ginger dough, which I'm going to do here by having a campfire in front of an encased fan, which is blowing onto our depot. Putting ginger dough under a mechanical press will make a gingerbread man. However, these are just the cookies. To make the actual gingerbread man that is alive, we need to get our gingerbread block and a pumpkin head. Place the pumpkin head on top of the gingerbread block and we get a gingerbread man. It's also possible to eat the gingerbread man by left clicking on them. However, when I did this, I got in trouble with the gingerbread man committee and quickly returned with some healing potions to remedy the situation. You can also use a lead on a gingerbread man. This will let you easily place them on a seat on a train so they can act as your train conductor. Here I'm just setting the schedule to go to the North Pole and subscribe and giving it to the gingerbread man. And now we're off. Back to our chocolate and caramel production. 
We can take the liquid forms we produced earlier and turn them into chocolate and caramel bars. We do this by piping the liquid into a basin and then using a mechanical press to make the chocolate and caramel bars which come out here on the belts. So here we have a bar of caramel, then we have a white chocolate bar, here is the dark chocolate bar, and finally we have our ruby chocolate bar. Now that we have our bars, we can go ahead and craft these into different bricks and blocks. Here we have ruby chocolate bricks, dark chocolate bricks, white chocolate bricks, and a caramel block. We can also use four gingerbread blocks to make gingerbread bricks. We can also make candy with Create Confectionery. So going back to our factory, we can combine wheat flour, sugar, and honey in a heated mixer to make honey candy. To make marshmallows, we can combine slime balls with water and sugar. Put it in a heated basin with a mixer and out comes our marshmallows. We can also combine some mundane potion with sugar and water in a heated basin under a mixer. This will make candy canes. The candy canes can be combined to make a candy cane block. And this finalizes the complete block palette that this mod offers as you can see here. The chocolate bricks can be converted back into liquid chocolate by melting them in a basin with a mixer. We can also make chocolate covered sweet berries for all the different types of chocolate. To do this, you need to put the sweet berries under a spout. And in the same way, you can also make caramel glazed berries. Now, if we take our marshmallows and combine that with the hot chocolate that we made earlier, we can get some soothing hot chocolate, which will give us slightly better buffs. We can also put marshmallows on a stick and put them next to a fire to make caramelized marshmallows on a stick. Mmm, delicious. We can also take our bars of chocolate and caramel and pour different types of chocolate on top of them to make lots of different candies. These all give various short-term buffs, which could be both fun and useful. Another thing we can do is to take six chocolate bars and a piece of paper to give us a full chocolate bar. This bar is a bit special as it allows for multiple uses. And this is probably the most overpowered use of this mod as it's also possible to enchant this chocolate bar. So we can put Mending and Unbreaking 3 on our bar, which will basically give us unlimited saturation. Finally, this mod adds a music disc which you can craft using four candy canes and a dark chocolate bar. This disc contains The Bright Side by Red Wolf. So let's go ahead and play this using a jukebox. And also, if you didn't know already, when you give a mechanical arm a music disc to put in a jukebox, the mechanical arm will start dancing. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more of my content. The link to the Create Confectionery mod can be found in the description below. The world download is available under Uber's Worlds on my Discord, which is also linked in the description. And also, please do let me know what you thought of this mod in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you next time.